The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by H&R Block. Today is the deadline to file your taxes, and if you haven't done so already, is it time to consider an extension? According to the IRS, the average return takes 13 hours to prepare, and for those who need more time to accurately complete their return, there's still time. Last week, I talked with H&R Block Chief Tax Officer Kathy Pickering, who's here to help with extensions. Good morning, Kathy. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So, you know, April 15th is upon us, tax day. I know for a lot of people, this causes a lot of anxiety and stress, especially around if we are or are not going to meet that deadline. I mean, do you have any tips and tricks for us if we think we're maybe not going to be quite ready? Absolutely. What I would first say is you're not alone. So many people find this time of year very stressful. And that's what H&R Block does. This is what we do. We love taxes. We're here to help and we're here to take some of that stress and anxiety out of it. Some of the really simple tips are first, just take a breath and then get started. So if you haven't started yet and you're not sure where to go, we've got a tax preparation checklist online that will just walk you through. Here are all the documents that you need to gather. Here are the things that you need to pull together. And you can just make sure that you've got everything that you need, that you're ready to go. Then you need to decide how do you want to file? Do you want to do it yourself online or do you want somebody to do it for you? Or do you wanna do something in the middle? We've got so many ways to file these days. You can start online, ask somebody questions, or then ha just have somebody look it over and review it for you. So a lot of different options, decide what you want. And then ultimately, if you're right up to the last minute on the last day, if you feel like you need to file an extension, we can help with that too. And um, there's just so many options, filing an extension, is a tricky thing though because an extension to file your tax return is not an extension to pay your taxes so if you think you owe money you still need to estimate how much you owe and make that payment um, in order to stay um, in the clear and not accrue any penalties or interest oh kathy that's such a great point because I personally have been there where I've, you know, unfortunately let it just get away from me and the deadline came up and I did have to file an extension. And like you said, you know, there's no penalties for filing, but if you think you're going to owe, you got to stay on top of that. So how do we know if we're going to owe money? I mean, if we're coming up to this deadline and we maybe think we are and we want to get on top of this, what's a great way to, to kind of figure that out? The the best thing to do is just to estimate your taxes. And you know we have a great estimator online, you can go through and estimate. Another thing is to understand how much you've already paid in taxes, which you would know based on your um, pay stubs or looking at your last year return and making sure that you've paid at least 90% of what you paid in the prior year. That will let you know roughly how much you're going to owe and how much you might still need to pay. Mm, those are great tips. And yeah, getting just kind of an estimate, it also helps put you at ease. Like those tips you were giving us in the beginning, take a breath because you know what? Knowledge is power and just getting the information is going to help you feel a little more relaxed. So I know that there are a lot of people out there who do feel like they're going to owe. And maybe the reason they're stressed is because they think they can't pay this lump sum all at once. I mean, what are the options there? There's so many options. If you find out that you owe money, you can, of course, just pay directly. You can pay it online with a direct debit from your bank account. However, not everybody can do that. And you've got a lot of other options. You can pay with a credit card, which, you know, some people actually prefer to do that because then they can get some of the travel benefits or what other rewards they might get with the credit card. You just need to know that there's a fee for setting up that credit card payment. Or if you really just can't pay it all in full in one shot, you can set up a payment plan with the IRS. And that's great that there are those options. I mean, getting on a payment plan is great, kind of sets you up for the net, however long it takes you to pay it off. Or like you said, a credit card. And then there you go. Maybe you're getting some extra points and you're paying the IRS, you're taking care of business, but maybe you're also getting, you know, 
a trip or some uh, some reward points or something in there. So that's great. But Kathy, tell everybody where they can go to find more information in some of these tools that you mentioned. Sure. So hrblock.com is a great place for more just tax information, advice, or if you want to set an appointment, you can go right there, hrblock.com for more information. All right, Kathy, thank you so much. This is so pertinent right now for these uh, dates that we're, that we're looking up upon because taxes are upon us. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Happy filing. <laughs> The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by H&R Block.